Oh Gotta my get god. Out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. <sighs> Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? This is too early for this. I can't even scan him because he's not really there. And I'm the only person who can see him. Oh, no, I can. Don't smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Fucking Christ, man! The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! Sounds like we are gonna have a great relationship together already. But you know what? He can't make me do anything, okay? He's not really there. He literally can't make me do anything. Unless if he can put some weird viruses in my head or something. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Who you work for, start talking! Fuck! Fuck. Fucking chip. Oh, no! Rip the thing out myself! No, wait! Okay, uh... Let's revise what I just said. He can make me do stuff. Literally just by thinking it. Great. I'll take control. Ugh. I'll find a way. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, get out of here, please. I I can't. No. See you never, asshole. Not like that. Stick <laughs> some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. He can touch me. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Leave me alone! Oh, I could've take- Just get the fuck out! Led to the head only thing that would fix this. Hear me, bitch. A bullet to the fucking brain! Shut up. This is going to be pleasant. So he smacked me just now. If that, I'm not sure if that was like a psychological... Oh, I thought he was going to smack me, so I recoiled, waiting for that smack? Or did he actually physically make contact with me, causing me to move away? Act 2. This is not how I thought we were going to go back to our house. Dear Ms. V, as you did not return to the vehicle following your visit at the Notel Motel, I elected to transport Mr. Wells' body to his family. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, evidence of last night. He's not here now, is he? If 
feel like he could just be around the corner. And that scares me. Can we just take in everything for a second? Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. We lost everybody. And now we have a terrorist in our head. But I feel like it is important to know that it's a terrorist from Arasaka's point of view, from the corporation's point of view. Because from their point of view, Johnny Silverhands' point of view, they're probably doing the right thing. So terrorist might be a bit of a charged word to be using for him. And maybe we're both just really agitated right now. Maybe that's why we're not getting along. Maybe later on we'll get to know each other more. But I really don't like the idea of knowing that some random person is going to come in whenever and just start controlling my body. I don't like that. Even one bit. Can we see some news on what happened? You know, about Saburo and all that? This is a news channel, but I'm not... Mm, not really what I'm looking for. Yeah. <sighs> let's... Let's... Okay, let's read an email. Rent past due. Great. Mega Building Administration. Dear Sir or Madam, Our records show we have not received this month's rent payment for your unit in Mega Building H10. In accordance with the tenancy agreement, blah 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 blah. Any subsequent payment delay will result in forced eviction from the property. Great. Great! Great! This symbol came up before in Johnny's memories and on the people's clothing. Is it the name of their band? Band page? Hear my call, I'm chipping in. Total war, I'm chipping in. Casings fall, I'm chipping in. Kill them all. Welcome to my samurai website. If you know, you know. If you don't, then you don't know fuck all. Silverhand for life. The greatest band of all time was formed at the start of the 21st century in Night City. Its members included Johnny Silverhand, the Lord of Punk, anti-establishment warrior, ex-soldier and arch-nemesis of corporations, vocal slash guitar. Carrie Uridine, a pal of Johnny's who sang almost just as good as him. He went mainstream after the band split up, vocals guitar. Denny, a tough as nails chick who beat the shit out of those drums, drums. Nancy, currently known as Best Isis. A virtuoso on the keys. Apparently, she threw her abusive husband out of a mega block window. Too bad she sold out to N54 News keyboard. Henry, a do it all whiz kid, worked on the first personal link prototype. So Johnny died, but then a lot of these, okay, it's basically like rebellious, hardcore punk whatever, right? Anti-establishment. But a lot of these people, after their little phase, you can call it, I guess, he went mainstream or they just went to do the news. They just went on and had normal jobs. Samurai started out by playing in a small smoke-filled club called the Rainbow Cadenza. I'll never forget the vibe. Dust-ups with corpos, drinking contests with Nance, listening to Johnny's hour-long tirades, not to mention a sense of humor. One time, he printed shirts for a 2020 worldwide concert tour. It's funny because Samurai couldn't even get an arena gig in the States. He picked some really random places. Beijing, Sapporo, Karavitsa. Happened to have one of the shirts myself. Too bad no one got the joke. Real Rock with a capital R died the way of Silverhand. With a flash and a tower crumbling bang. We're still here listening to your songs, Johnny. And we remember, there's nothing left for us. Oh. <sighs> So he's famous to the point that even 50 years ago, people are still making websites dedicated to remembering and worshipping him. Not an unknown guy at all. I just had some whiskey, which is perfect for the situation because I'm feeling very... not so good right now. Maybe let's put on some clothes. And level up.
One attribute point, three perk points. Mm, I don't know. I feel like I like hacking a lot, although how often do I actually do it? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The maximum is level 20. I guess I'll just go intelligence once more. Yeah, I haven't really looked into any type of crafting or even making myself stronger in battle. Body. Increases- oh! Increases carrying capacity. Do it. Thank you. No need to think. Health slowly regenerates during combat. That seems useful. Yeah, this is all basic stuff that would be really good. Annihilation. Street Brawler. Okay, so even within each- each thing, there's still tabs. Oh my god. Recoil. Street Brawler. Increases damage with melee weapons. Combo attacks. Armor. Okay, I feel like at first glance, I... I like the athletic stuff more. Maximum stamina, maximum health. I'll stick to this for now. And then one more point on... Reduces time to aim down sights of rifles and submachine guns. Damage. Crit chance. Silence weapons. Okay, this might be good if we really want to focus on dealing stealth damage. Cold blood. There's a lot. Let's get this one. Okay. Clothing. I'm not wearing anything. Which one is the, the best one here? Sort by... Is it DPS? Actually, no. There's no sort by armor, so... I don't know what you would sort by here. Just put on one and then we'll compare it right here. 11.3. Arasaka Kabuto with composite plating. Engineer. <coughs> uh, okay, well, whatever. Oh, wow, I look like... I look like I'm from Metro Exodus or something. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that seems to be the best one. There's got to be a better way to do this. I'm just looking at everything. Corporate dress. So this is just for the stats, but if we want to look differently, we can wear something on top, is my understanding. Arasaka waterproof combat turtleneck. <laughs> okay. Twelve point nine Militech Neotech pants. I don't even see it. You're wearing a skirt. Titanium fitted polyamide combat boots. Okay, but now special. We can put on bandage wrapping. Oh, that looks really. It looks like we're not wearing any armor. This is basically just for looks. Even though there are times when it doesn't really matter how you look, apparently. Arasaka hazmat suit. <laughs> okay. Why don't I check out my stash then? I'll go with this one for now. Got some clothing. We can stock up on ammo. You know, for such a small apartment, the fact that we have this dedicated armor place, weapon place, is really not so bad. Gamera here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. 
Thomas Diner. I am waiting. Ugh, yeah. Relic malfunction. Is that just gonna happen every now and then now? That's so... Mega Building H10 Administration informs you that your vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking garage. We wish you a pleasant day. That's a job? The best weapon against capitalism is under uninterrupted meditation. Thank you. That's just spam, right? Beat on the brat. Mm, and so we... Okay, so can I... Can I decide to take a pill whenever I want? Oh my gosh, why am I suddenly getting so many jobs? Oh, that's the... That's the fighting stuff. Well, since we're back home and we're very rarely back home... Oh. Oh, there's money here. This is better than what I have right now. Oh. Uh... I Second conflict, biker jacket. Is it really better? Really? I'm kinda... Mm, I feel like it's not. These things... They shouldn't be better. Because I just put on some stuff that's... Better than that, didn't I? Oh my god, just looking at this is killing me. <laughs> Components. For crafting. Okay. I... Oh yeah, we have a lot of different side jobs now. But for now, I think we should go talk to Takemura just to make sure we know what's going on. Oh, you know what? Oh, this is still being written by Jackie, but Jackie's not even... Ugh. Don't trust that Takemura. Meet with him, sure. Check him out, but keep your eyes open. He's a corporal rat, meaning he's looking to use you. Well, Chica... Looks like we got ourselves into a real fix. No chance in hell I'm wriggling myself out of this one, but you're still alive. And as Misty says, as long as you're alive, there's hope. Fate's given you a second chance, so use it. Get back on your feet. Do that, and consider your best friend's last wish fulfilled. Mm. <sighs> All for the chance to move up a little bit in the world, so we're not doing so poorly anymore, but that ended in... Our lives being taken away. I feel like now would be a good time to look into the people entries again. <laughs> Regina Jones. Oh, you actually have a face. Are you like a cop or what? Oh my god, you were like texting me when I was being chased down by the people and all that. Jeez. A fixer with Chinese heritage operating out of Watson. She used to work as an independent reported for FTF radio. But after the station was acquired by the media conglomerate, news... 54. Regina decided it was time to find a better medium to spread her message. She mobilized all her contacts, from the highest ranking corpos to the lowliest dealers, gangers, mercs, bums, and junkies. From their point of view, Regina hasn't changed a bit. She's always been a fighter, a girl from the streets. The only difference is that before, she bought gossip and sold news. Now she spins both. She's lost an eye. That's how you know she's badass. Who's Jotaro Shobo? Who the hell is this? Oh! Oh, that's the guy who was experimenting on the stuff. We, uh, we knocked him out and brought his body to the car. If Night City had a contest for the most rotten to the core piece of human garbage, Jotaro Shobo would stand a pretty decent chance of winning. Maybe not first place, but he'd definitely be up there. Jotaro is a high-ranking Tiger Claws ganger who, thanks to his intelligence, loyalty, and ruthlessness, quickly made his way up the pecking order. He rules his lackeys with an iron fist, and is never late with his cut for the bosses, who repay him with protection and turning a blind eye to his various hobbies. One of them includes recording brain dances, and anyone who's relived them calls him the Devil of Kabuki. Well, he's out of the picture now, so bye bye Victor Vector. If you want decent chrome, you go to Vix. While other places might look like spaceship interiors crossed with Zen rooms, his Ripper Doc clinic is no nonsense and doesn't bombard customers with corporate logos. If you're nice, he might even give you a beer with your anesthesia before he starts cutting. Victor Vector is actually one of the living legends of Night City, a fact he's been trying to get people to forget for years. He's a man of principle, an old school tough guy from the streets for whom honor and morals were forged in the Night City Devil's Boxing Club. 
Yeah, so we've heard about this kind of thing from Jackie a lot. People in Night City being legends, for example, that rogue lady, and then Johnny Silverhand would definitely be a legend as well. What makes them a legend? They did something very noteworthy in the city? Like a celebrity, but not necessarily one that lives, uh, one that appears on TV, one that has a lot of street cred. Yeah, that's what it is, right? Misty. While Victor is a healer of bullet and blade wounds, Misty is a mender of broken spirits. Misty's Esoterica, a small shop in front of a Ripper Dock clinic, is stocked with an assortment of aura cleansing incense sticks, yarrow stems, Tibetan Book of the Dead shards, and pendants for good luck. Though Misty gets more customers than Victor, this smart and sensitive woman somehow always finds a time to help her friend in difficult moments, at times almost taking on the role of a full-fledged nurse. I wonder how well we know her. Dexter the Sean. Dex never shot hoops, jumped roofs, or pulled a trigger. Likewise, he never felt the need to plant his fat ass in a netrunner's chair or splice cables in a sooty garage. Wait, never pulled a trigger? <laughs> yep, that's right. Dex never popped lead in his entire life. People, that's what Dex was good at. Who are you lying here? Who put a bullet in my head? Dex is one of the biggest fixers in Night City. He's a pretty big deal, both literally and figuratively. Word on the street is that there were complications from his last job, but that's just the nature of biz, ain't it? Besides, when someone like Dexter Deshaun has a gig for you, you don't ask questions, you just shake on it. <clears throat> Yorinobu? I'm not gonna read all of them right away, let's try to split it up. So which one's important here? I don't even know who these people are. Johnny Silverhand. They say you can become a legendary rocker boy without all the sex and drugs, the manic depression, run-ins with the law, and one toxic relationship after another. But Johnny Silverhand's an old school, and therefore all these things apply. <laughs> Frontman for Samurai, charismatic visionary, rebel with a cause, sworn enemy of corporations, but especially Arasaka, and the mind behind the cult singles chipping in that never fade away, currently residing in V's brain as a digitized tenant. Silverhand met his demise during the attack on Arasaka Tower from after getting shot by Adam Smasher and subsequently flatlined by Soul Killer. But some rocker boys never really die. Point in case, Silverhand's personality construct was kept in Arasaka's labs for decades before it landed on a prototype biochip called the Relic, which, following a series of unexpected events, ended up in V's brain. If you think spending eternity in a cyberspace prison is worse than sharing your headspace with a complete stranger, you'd be dead wrong. For an egomaniac and a narcissist like Johnny, it's a living hell. I feel like the whole concept of him being inside that chip brings into some questions about stuff like transhumanism. Oh great, what the hell is this stuff? Oh my god. Yeah, because if he's inside that chip, is it really Johnny Silverhand himself inside the chip if he's physically dead already? Is it just somebody altering his DNA and turning it into computer code and then stuffing the code inside a chip or, you know, stuff like that? Hard reset. I gotta get back up. 20%. Play it again. Oh, okay. He's overriding my consciousness. Great. 1%. Thank goodness. The countdown. The biochip is gonna kill me. Okay, so for some reason, the biochip killing me and Johnny taking over are different counters, and thankfully they're both kind of low right now, but that's probably going to change fairly quickly. What is this? Oh, what now? Oh yeah, you texted me earlier! What was that about? Van full of sin leather. Oh, okay, you know what? We'll read this when we do the thing. How about that? Because I'm pretty sure I was near it in the car, but not anymore. I almost forgot we live in a slum. That's just what this place looks like. <sighs> when danger lurks. He also gets kind of quiet right now. It's 10 in the morning. Don't got no fucking warrant. Nine, nine, nine. Cut the bullshit. Just open up. We came here as colleagues. Nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. 
Noted. Now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendez. Mama Wells. Be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention hole. But you lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. He lost a friend. There's a police in there. He lost a friend. Uh, Mama Wells just texted me. Jackie's mom. V? V, we need to talk. Please pick up. Oh, I can't pick up. Sorry, was in the middle of something. I'll call you later. Okay. I don't really want to ignore her because a mom's suffering is not really... What's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living and stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on! It's his neighbor! Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just hmm. be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. He's not the only person who's lost a best friend. Right now? Hey, Barry? Everything all right in there? I think he's just ignoring us. Maybe there's a different... Is he watching TV inside? Seems like the PD's taken an interest in a neighbor of yours. Will you assume the mantle of a concerned, responsible citizen and ask what's going on? I mean, if you got a potential psycho for a neighbor, wouldn't you want to know? Try talking to Barry in a few hours. Okay, we'll be back. We have more in common than I'd like to have. I might know exactly how you feel. So I ask you, what's so bad about personality readjustment? You took a criminal, poked around in their brain for the right neural pathway, and snip, goodbye violent thoughts, snip, goodbye raping poor old ladies, and voila, you're a decent, normal fucking human being. Hmm, too bad it wouldn't have worked on you. Snip, snip, snip. No, still a crypto fascist. Fascist? I won't apologize for getting rid of scum. And you know what else? Deviant thought inhibiting chips? Did anyone complain? That's a really big ethical discussion, isn't it? Changing people's thoughts so that only the good ones remain? Well, what even is a good thought to begin with? We don't really know. Where is Tom's Diner? Tom's Diner is over here. Where am I? I press tab, but I can't see where I am right now. Here. I'm here. Okay, it's close enough. We'll... we'll go by. Hey, there's a 2 next to the draw point now. What does that mean? I don't know. <sighs> hey buddy, you still here? How's your day been? How's your day been? Uh, I guess it's the same stuff. Try out our freshly developed new tastes and let your tongue be amazed. All foods. Mmm. Yummy. What the hell kind of an ad was that? All foods. Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> Very enthusiastic. Hey, B! Haven't seen you in a good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> I figured you'd skip town. Quitting Night City is not as easy as you think. Sort of like an abusive relationship, huh? 
exactly like an abusive Listen, relationship. Uh, I can use a little flow to the old pocket. Want to peek at some fresh gear? Sure. Let me see what you got. Would you like some of my guns and stuff? My money... Oh my god, I, there's really got to be a better way to do this all. <laughs> Seriously. See, this is better than what I have right now, but um, let's just sell junk. Oh, I'm sorry, that's kind of like making you give me money as opposed to the other way around. Is there anything I'm looking for in particular? Renders your weapon non-lethal, allowing you to damage your enemies without killing them. Oh! Increases damage to limbs by 5%. Hey, let's try buying some mods. We never tried it before. Why not? Pacifier. Increases crit damage. Well, I don't really care about the other ones, but... Okay, we'll buy two. Mmm. Silencer. Yeah, they've got some stuff here. This is a crafting spec, so it's a, it's a recipe for making a gun. I don't think I need that. Allows you to craft a weapon mod. Crunch. But you're not telling me what crunch does, so I don't know if I want that or not. Okay, cool, thanks. Okay, more fiddling here. More fiddling. No. I want to go back to... My character? No. Okay, where do I see the screen? With my weapons. Here we go. So right now, I think I put a... I put a silencer on this. I don't mind putting silencers on everything. Unless if it affects damage, which I don't think it does. Oh, it does. 15%. Okay, so maybe I don't want a silencer on everything. We'll just have it on the little pistol then. Oh, but this one's reducing by 30%, so at the minimum, we should be changing it to another one that's 10%. Yes, this one's way better. Scope? Yeah, why not? Mods? Uh, don't kill people. Quiet and don't kill people accidentally, so I can just go Rambo and boom 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 and they won't die. Okay. Tech pistol. Power pistol. Uh, these... Yeah, we had pop-ups for these before. I don't need two pistols, though. Can I have a shotgun? Why does my shotgun keep going elsewhere? Right, so we'll do this. And then submachine gun. No muzzles. No scopes. No mods. Yeah, so maybe this one is a legendary weapon. No, our iconic weapon. That's why there's so many slots. But those other random weapons don't. Okay. Thanks. Oh, oh the, the. Thanks. Her first novel, Hello, I'm Arif Iqbal with WNS News. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Ryan has passed away. We learned of Mayor Ryan's death from his family. Hey, he died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released. But initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Hey, we saw that guy, Today, right? We all mourn the untimely loss of our mayor and dear friend, Lucius Ryan. But when we've dried our tears, we must look to the future. To the future. Lucius envisioned for our fair city. I promise to do everything in my power to ensure his work will continue on. Rest in peace, my friend. Ryan's political opponent, former District Attorney Jefferson Perales, also offered his condolences. Look, Mayor Ryan and I often did not meet eye to eye on political matters, and we sometimes traded sharp words. But even after our most heated debates, we always shared a handshake of mutual respect. Today, I say farewell to him for the last time. Thank you, Lucius, for everything you've done for our city. Who next will assume Ryan's mantle? We'll find out soon. The first polls following Ryan's death reveal a neck-and-neck race between Holt and Perales. Now, 
a word from our sponsors. I'm pretty sure Holt was the guy that we saw back at the tower when we were guiding the little... the flathead throughout the rooms. And he had some sort of a dealing going on with Arasaka was my understanding. Although what specifically? Did it lead to this guy's death? The current mayor or the previous mayor's death? That would be kind of a scary thought. I don't think I've been here before. Last time I kind of skipped out on it. But it's just a corner. Yeah, eat some croissants off the ground, why not? Eh. Hey, that's better than my- is that actually better than my current glasses? I'll never get used to this. Yeah, so I feel like it's- it's not better than my current glasses, right? But whenever I roll over it, it says it is. When I wear this, does it negate the armor? Is that what's happening? Maybe I should take it off. How do I take it off? <laughs> I mean, I- oh, I look like a- uh, oh, I kind of like that look. Along with a mask, it looks kind of... Some sort of a biohazard thingy going on. Yay, free money on the ground. Just 70 bucks. This thing had a thing on the map. What? Oh, am I just supposed to like sell my stuff here and it's like I don't have to go to a store because it has money right here? Is that what this is? Right, so I think I just decreased the money a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, I kind of see how this works. Although like how often am I... Well, I'm not really hurting for money. The thing I'm really hurting for is space, so... Whenever I'm running out of space, I will make note that this is a good place to... Get rid of all this stuff. Okay, very cool, very cool. Anyway, Tom's Diner. Hmm... Can I eat a meal here, in honor of Jackie? I guess not. I'm looking at the lights! It says, wait, I know you're gonna run me over if I go over now. <laughs> Is it okay? This time, one friend shall lose another friend's cyber deck. And the young shall not know where lieth the things left by their fathers. People are listening to them tell stories or something. Did mom send you? Rude. Okay. V, my favorite Merc. I got a Galena I'm selling. Hasn't been driven much. Guy who owned for the last 10 years was paranoid as shit of going outside. Because he was afraid they would zero him. Car sat in love for all that time. But you can't escape fate, right? Stray lead caught him through his window. Moral of the story is that you gotta grab life by the fucking balls, so don't be no Scrooge. Whip out your grad ship and buy this baby. <laughs> uh... I'll think about it later on, maybe. You're just telling me a story because you want my money. I know how it works. Wow, we never really officially walked around anything here. A fixer just sent you an offer to buy a vehicle. Okay, I guess I should buy all of them if I can, but I feel like I have better things to be doing with my money right now, such as stuff like cyberdeck stuff. Tom's Diner. Oh, Tom's Diner might be that one diner that we went through before. The one. Can I help you? Now, if only I can figure out how to get inside. Yeah, it is, it is. Okay. And I'm actually kind of curious too. The database. Does it have entries for places? It does, for all these places. Holy crap. We got a lot to catch up on, but for now... How about Tom's Diner? Tom's Diner. Where is Tom's Diner? 
I can't even see Tom's diner here. Okay, maybe it's not here yet. Okay, fine, fine, I'll read it all later. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Hmm. Why'd you help me, anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Damaged, huh? I didn't remember Vic saying specifically it was damaged. Only that it couldn't be taken out. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. You're looking for Yorinobu? What's going on on that end? Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Well, she... would she have backing? She does seem kind of... Um, powerful. V? I don't know. Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure, but... She showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out lumped with the outcasts easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> That's exactly what happened to you too, V. Okay, well, I can't help you. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. V, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> ah. Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. Wait, I know it's a patricide, but you don't know that I know that. How did you... when did you establish this? You didn't know I was behind the TV, watching the whole thing play out. There's no time to waste, V. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. Should begin with that. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. I'm curious how you found out that Yorinobu killed his father. Because when you killed Dex, at that point you didn't know, right? Because that's the whole point of why you were looking for me? And then I passed out, and then suddenly, you were being chased by Arasaka assassins. Or, when you were looking for Dex, did you know already? Because you knew that I could help you find out who 
what actually happened. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, he seems dropping. And does Hellman escape to Arasaka? Betrayed it. Hanako. Now, Hanako sama, I would first like to ask you. Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Do you work for her now? Mm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Hey, is she your master now? Cause... Yorinobu killed his dad. But she's Arasaka. And you work to protect the head of the family. The legitimate head of the family, right? That was our first look at the daughter. The last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Yeah. Evelyn Parker. Uh. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. So, same position as Evelyn Parker then. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. You're an outcast, too. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. I'm a corporal too. <laughs> Not much I can say. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. Dolma is choosy, expensive, and rude. He just called Saburo Saburo san and then Saburo sama in the same conversation. <laughs> Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. Oh, if I want to get. And if that means. Pay I'm. Hmm. Why are you looking for- What the hell? I'm stuck here. For oh no, we gotta go through again. With a bit of luck, 
I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have that. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Paka woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Of course you want me to. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Oh, Jesus. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Is this your first exposure to the world 50 years later? You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. I was just gonna say. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. He doesn't quite look like Keanu. Maybe it's just the angling. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. <sighs> so you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. He could be useful. Yeah, maybe let's not write him off so quickly. In terms of helping Takemura or not, well, I, I'm pretty sure we are gonna, but... He's obviously pushing for me to help him because he wants to... Uh, he needs my help. But do I need him? Do I really need him? 